The zodiac signs that refuse to let go of their ex. First, we have Gemini. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, and Geminis are interesting because they constantly go back and forth about everything in their minds, in their heads, in their hearts. Geminis can be very sympathetic and understanding. You know, they um, kind of have the ability, like Libra, sometimes to see both sides. But sometimes Geminis can get sucked in into people's stories, you know, especially sob stories, their partner sob stories. So Geminis sometimes, even if they're not with the person, you know, Geminis feel um, a sometimes I don't want to say obligation, but feel a need to sometimes still help that person out in any way they can, because that person still had a place in Gemini's heart. That person still meant something to Gemini at one one point. And. Gemini probably still has not fully let go. It's hard for Geminis to fully let go, um, you know, because they can sometimes be um, collectors, you know, I don't want to say hoarders, but collectors, collectors of feelings, collectors of knowledge, collectors of stories, you know, collectors of you know, bits and pieces of the world of, of life experiences that have really shaped who they are, you know, whether good or bad. Um, but sometimes, you know, Geminis, you know, um, you know, hang on for too long, long after, you know, the expiration date, you know, uh, allowed, so to speak, you know, you know, and this is something that Gemini has to come to within their own heart and mind, you know, people can tell Gemini all day, you know, all night in their sleep, you know, that, you know, why are you allowing this person in your life, you know, that they're this and that, they're only going to do this and that, Gemini has to experience that for themselves, you know, um, and that's just the type of people they are, and it confuses the people around them, people around them want to, want to help, want to shake Gemini, you know, and tell them, let go of the ex, but, you know, Geminis are who they are. They like to go out and experience that Mercury energy. You know, it's it's like the little child, you know, that just, it's, you know, it's so curious. It just needs to put its hand on the stove, you know. Maybe it's changed this time. Oh, no, it's still hot. You know, maybe, uh, what temperature is it at, at this time? Maybe it's, oh, still hot. You know, like, that's Gemini, that's Mercury, you know. And at some point, it's, you know, Mercury's going to learn to not put his or her hand on the stove anymore because it's hot, you know, it's going to burn. <laughs> so, you know, they just have to learn that lesson on their own, unfortunately. And, you know, the people around them have to be hands off, of course, you know, jump in, you know, when Gemini needs them to, but otherwise Gemini, you know, really needs to learn, you know, to stand in their own power and their own, you know, kind of, um, uh, individualism, you know, and, and let go. All right. Next we have cancer. Now, here's the thing about Cancers, you know, Cancers are ruled by the moon, so they're very sympathetic, very empathetic in feeling, kind of like Gemini, you know, they hold on, you know, they collect, you know, um, using the word collect and not saying hoard, they collect, um, you know, feelings, they collect experiences over time, and, you know, these feelings, these experiences, you know, shape, you know, cancers in a lot of ways you know cancer has to process these feelings and a lot of times these feelings are deep you know especially when you have an ex situation you know typically breakups are very can be hard for cancer you know they can be difficult you know especially you know if there's a lot of history a lot of feelings there you know so you know cancer you know when it comes to letting go physically that's not an issue for cancer but when it comes to letting go emotionally this is where cancer can have the problem you know sometimes cancers can't have too much control over their emotions their you know emotions are like the wave of an ocean sometimes they're calm cool and collected sometimes they're a little bit chaotic you know and and cancer has to contain those feelings within you know um so you know it's easy you know to let go of you know an ex physically but emotionally you know sometimes it's not so easy you know and um i think this is why cancer is sometimes it's hard for them to let go um, you know, sometimes, you know, cancers may, may need some time to heal, may need some time for singledom or doing their own thing to really emotionally let go of their, their ex, right? So next we have Virgo and Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Once again, we have that Mercury energy and, you know, Virgo is an earth sign. So whereas Gemini is an air sign, you know, they deal with the mental, you know, communication. Virgos are more practical, um, now, whereas a, well, no, uh, actually Virgo, you know, is kind of similar to Gemini in that they can 
feel sympathetic, empathetic for their partner. Um, but Virgos can also be very controlling, you know, and Virgos get frustrated when what's seen as controlling behavior isn't, you know, taken seriously or what's seen as controlling behavior is seen in that way. To Virgo, it's just them trying to, you know, solicit advice to put their partner or their ex, whoever, on the right track. Um, Virgos are also very mental kind of people, in their head kind of people. So, you know, it may be mentally hard to let go of a, a partner and ex for Virgo. Physically, it may also be hard as well. You know, Virgo, you know, um, may have to be the type to delete their number, you know, uh, block them on Facebook because that's just who they are. They deal with the practical realm. So they deal, you know, with practical communication. Oh, let me send a text. You know, they're just the, 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 those kind of people. So, um, you know, sometimes Virgos, to get over their ex, they have to do practical things like block people on social media and, you know, delete phone numbers. Um as a process of letting go mentally, you know, um, Virgos are the types of people that, um, need closure, but, uh, also feed off the energy of there not being closure, you know, cause there's still that door open, you know, um, but sometimes, you know, getting closure and closing the door is, is less painful than, than being in that, that state of kind of, um, uh, the unknown, so to speak, within a relationship. So it's sometimes what I'm saying, basically, is sometimes it's just best to let go of an ex than to just constantly stay in that space of waiting, hoping, wishing that, you know, things will change mentally. That just only keeps you in a state of, you know, um, despondent, of, of unhappiness, of despair, of, you know, irritability you know um you guys are so over analyzing so self-critical too so sometimes you can be hard on yourselves and really it's just not your fault it's just you know who that person is so um you know that can be the issue sometimes with virgos libra is next libra is ruled by venus so you know a lot of times when in a relationship's a relationship ends and especially if it ends on bad terms there's no closure you know it didn't end on a, you know an apple um, an amicable note i think that's how you say that amicable note um that will really bother libra that will really cause a libra to hold on um in all forms physically mentally emotionally <laughs> because libras need that closure libras need that kind of happy ending unfortunately in a lot of cases well not in a lot of cases but in some cases you don't get that happy ending you don't get that closure um and Libras are also the type of people who just like to leave their door open sometimes um in hopes that things will change in hopes that you know they will this person will come to light and see you know how worthy Libra is how you know important Libra is into their life, you know, and then they get hurt when that never happens, you know, and then they keep that person around sometimes because they expect, okay, maybe, you know, they'll come around, maybe they'll validate my self-worth, right, you know, so a lot of times with Libras holding on to their ex, it's a deeper issue, sometimes it's not just, you know, about the ex themselves and the relationship and them holding on because they were just that type of, you know, it was just that, you know, the, the relationship was that good. This was, you know what I'm saying? It's not about that. Sometimes it's just about the Libra needing, you know, not getting closure. Sometimes it's, you know, the Libra, you know, uh, needing, you know, uh, just not feeling good about how the relationship went. You know, sometimes it's a deeper issue there um with libras so that's why libras you know um always need to check their emotions check in with their emotions it's really important for libra to go through the healing process the full healing process you know um when you know exiting a relationship you know um also really examining their part in it you know examining um the part they played, what they could have done differently, um, but not, um, trying to change it, not, not holding on to, you know, not, and also not, um, feeling like, you know, not accepting responsibility of feeling like you have to change, you're the one who has to change it, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, remembering it's a 50-50 situation, um, you know, and, and just being okay with what it is, you know, Libra, um, sometimes Libras just get so caught up in 
the harmony of 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 it all um that they become disharmony that they become disharmonic within themselves they come they like get disharmony within them in themselves so libra sometimes the the best thing honey the easiest thing whether you are male or female is to let go of the ex because keeping that energy in your life can be toxic okay um it can you know um decrease your uh self-esteem your self-worth your sense of self-worth you know keeping that person in your life who constantly you know validates you know maybe something negative about yourself or who who um it's just a negative vibe. It's an, a toxic energy to keep in your life. You know, you always want to cleanse your cleanse cleanse it. You know, cleanse your your energy, cleanse your aura. You know, after a relationship ends, and you know, really, you know, start on a new clean slate, Libra. I think that's really really important for me, and I'm saying this as a Libra moon. So you know, we can get really really invested with our our you know situation. So all right, next we have Pisces. Um, Pisces can be like a sponge, you know, Pisces takes everything in, you know, they can take in a lot about their partner, um, on a, like, spiritual level, on a <clears throat> soul level, on an energetic level, you know, um, so it's almost like Pisces, you know, um, it's like a double healing, because they're healing from the, the, the breakup of the relationship, but they're also healing from, the person themselves, the problems that the person sucked Pisces into, or the problems that Pisces allowed themselves to be sucked into, like, you know, it's like a, it's like a shedding of, of double skins in that way, does that make sense, I think Pisces understand what I'm saying, right, because you guys take in so much from your partner, you guys, like, you know, see the all of your partner, the good, the bad, you know, um, you know, you guys are the types of people who, you know, have those very deep conversations with your partner about their fears and, you know, their, their childhood traumas. Like, you guys sometimes get that deep. Um, so, like, Gemini, you guys can be sympathetic. Like, Cancer, you guys can be sympathetic and understanding. Um, but it's, it's deep when it comes to Pisces and a breakup, you know. Um, you know, healing is so necessary. Um, you guys can sometimes be collectors, holding on to feelings, thoughts, and emotions from your, your ex, you know, so, um, you know, it's important for you to really shed and cleanse yourself after a breakup too, I think, you know, very, very important for a Pisces, because you guys can be sponges, um, and I think sometimes your partners know that, and they play on that, okay, just saying, letting you know, so always protect your energy, Pisces, always, always protect your energy, um, go with your gut intuition, don't be afraid to stick up for yourself, okay? All right, last but not least, we have Taurus. Now, Taurus is interesting because Taurus is ruled by Venus. Taurus is, don't have a problem letting go physically, don't have a problem letting go emotionally. What Tauruses can sometimes hold on to and connect it to their ex is the story of their ex. Whether it's a story of the relationship with their ex, well, I was with him or her for 10 years, and I gave everything to that man or woman. I gave everything to that person. You know, that person, I was with that person when they did that and that, you know. So, you know, they, they hold on to that story. They hold on to that, you know. So because I went through that, I just want to be single for the next, you know. I just want to be single, you know. But it turns out they want to be single for the next 5, 10, or 5 you know, 10 years, but it's, it's a deeper issue. It's, it's you not being able to let go of your ex. You, it's you holding on to wounds and not being able to let go. Like they hold on to that story. Sometimes they hold on to the story that they downloaded from their ex. Maybe their ex was the type of person who, um, um, Uh, I'm trying to choose my words carefully, all right? <laughs> Maybe their ex was a person who wasn't good, wasn't faithful, so they hold on to the story of, you know, my ex wasn't faithful, so, you know, I believe everyone's not faithful, or I, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, they hold on to that story, that, 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 that trope, that kind of, um, idiom, that, that story that they've, they, they've, um, learned, from the uh relationship but then they, they they don't pay attention to the lesson they don't pay attention to uh really what they're doing which is said and really what they're saying is i haven't healed from my ex so because i haven't healed from my ex i'm holding on to the story 
of my ex and covering my wounds with that that trope with that situation that I haven't healed from does that make sense it's like a deeper issue with a choice um so it's important to shed to let go of that to let go of the story of of your ex to let go of the um ideology that your ex encompassed that the ideology of your you, the the complete ideology of your last relationship i think is important to let go of with the toys and to once again like libra you know and i think it's this is really important you guys start with clean slates because you're ruled by venus so you guys automatically have a kind of predisposition to want a relationship to want partnership to want you know love you know in those things so you know it's always good to start with a clean slate you know and, and just check your emotional baggage at the door Taurus. okay um and i'm not that's not shady that's not you know um mean that's just kind of you know making sure you haven't left anything in your bag you know making sure you know you have you there are still some some emotional crumbs left that you're, you're taking with you that, you know, the ghost of your your emotional past, you know what I'm saying? Really cleanse that aura, that energy so that you go move forward with a clean slate and let go of that, that story of your last relationship, okay? These are the Zodiacs that just refuse to let go of their ex. I don't know why, um, but hopefully this uh, video helped you to understand and helped us to understand a little bit more about why they do it, why we do it, you know, and um, how we can improve it moving forward, okay? So thank you guys for listening and watching. If you would like your own personal, private, confidential psychic reading, please contact me on my, on my website. Or if you would like your own birth chart reading or love synastry, love compatibility birth chart reading, contact me on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. Subscribe, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram at lamartownsend. Like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash lamartownsendofficial. Thank you guys so much. Namaste, love and light. See you in the next video.